Good morning. Good afternoon. Good, Good day, day to Rod. Rod. This, this is, is your official broadcast. broadcast. Welcome back, Mustangs. I'm Laura Herzer. And I'm Dylan Nee. We're here to recap homecoming and preview some upcoming events. First was the homecoming spirit week. Everyone really dressed up for each day. We would like to celebrate everyone who dressed as a type. Here's Kyla interviewing students on campus about their homecoming gear. Okay, so what is your type? Um, just crop tops, gray sweats. That's what I'm into. <laughs> and can you explain your outfit? Um, I mean, my sister just put this on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, I like girls with crop tops who like wear crop tops a lot. So I figured I'd wear a crop top today. Got it. Thank yep. you. So, what's your type? Um, baseball, baseball boys. boys. You can't tell. But yeah. What do you wear? Yeah. Um. Just like, you know, they always wear hats, which is like the best. And then uh, knockoff pit vipers. They're not real. Uh, yeah. yeah, obviously. They're not, I'm not paying that much money. Um, um, and then it's like a t-shirt, you know. And then some shorts. Like, yeah, some athletic shorts. And then Air Forces. Forces, because they always wear horses. And yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, uh, what is your type? That one. <laughs> uh, and what are you wearing today? Uh, cut crop top and sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Chase, yes. uh, what is your type? You know, my type, it, it depends on the day. You know, I would say it's Monday. I'm starting the, the week off fresh. I like softball girls. I like water polo girls. But if I'm going with a specific type, it has to be light-skinned girls for sure. <laughs> and uh, what do you dress like? Well, your outfit? You know, I'm just dressed like a stereotypical girl. You know, just an athletic wear, athletic fit. And, you know, that's what I'm into. So that's what I'm wearing this week. Thank you. Okay, so uh, what is your type? Baseball, baseball, boys. baseball boys, definitely. <laughs> and what are you guys wearing? Let's hear the outfit. Um, I'm wearing my best friend's jersey and a nice hat. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a jersey, some gray sweats, and my Yay. usual slides. Um, I'm wearing a Giants jersey, I have eye black, and Giants hat. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. Masai, what is your type? Uh, I don't, I don't have a type. You don't have a type? Okay. Can you explain your outfit for us? So this is, this is from my closet, exclusively. Pull it out for special occasions, you know. Thank you. Okay, so what is your type? I, I like women that like music. Okay, can you explain your outfit, Well, I mean, please? women wear skirts and bottle rock for music. Thank you. That was, that was my logic. The Hoka Rally was full of excitement with the Talk of Raw, Fall Sports, and the Class Skit previews. The senior skit took first place, followed by the juniors in second and the freshmen in third. The sophomores got last place, better luck next time sophomores. Homecoming week ended with a Garden of Light themed homecoming dance. Thank you for Kennedy Jackson and Sarah Stevenson and the rest of the homecoming dance committee for putting on a spectacular event. Now let's look ahead to upcoming events this month. Leadership will be hosting an October Papa Shot Tournament this Thursday and Friday at Aquad during lunch. Underclassmen will compete on Thursday while upperclassmen compete on Friday. Sign-ups close tomorrow. Fall Spirit Week is October 23rd through 31st. Monday is Rhyme Without Reason. Tuesday is Twilight Vampires vs. Werewolf. Wednesday is Pink Out. Thursday is Mathlete vs. Athlete. Friday is Freaky Friday where you dress as your parents. The following Monday will be Pajama Day, and Tuesday, of course, wear your Halloween costume. Leadership is hosting its annual Harvest Festival October 28th at 1 to 5 p.m. There will be games, vendors, pumpkin painting, a haunted house, and more. If a club or small business would like a table at the event, please respond to the vendor sign-up in your email or description below. Hope to see you there. Seniors, UC and CSU applications are open. There are nine different UC campuses and 23 different CSU campuses that you can apply to, but you'll need your unofficial transcript, your social security number, memorize it, but keep it private, you and your guardian's residency status so you can receive cheap in-state tuition, your guardian's annual income so you can qualify for a free waiver. You can apply to four UCs for free. 
you have until November 30th to submit your applications. CCC will be hosting virtual UC Personal Insight Question Workshop Wednesday, October 11th from 3 to 4 p.m. for students who want help with writing their PIQs. If you have any questions, you can ask Ms. Vallejo in the CCC. And that's all for now, Mustangs. If any club would like a shout out, please contact broadcast commissioners Olivia St. Cern and Maya Adamora. And, and that's, that's a wrap. wrap.